I've just been playing around with the aircon, so I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. I turned it down as much as possible, but when I say I could not survive, I'm already sweating, even though I've just turned the aircon down ever so slightly. It is hot in Thailand at the moment, and not even just normal Thailand hot. Apparently it's like a heat wave, so it's been about 40 degrees all week, and considering when I left England I was wearing coats and cardigans, it's taken a lot of getting used to, and I would not say I'm used to it. I'm honestly about to sweat through my makeup. I'm about to head to Kenny's game with actually my little Dougal shirt on. My soon to be surname. I'm saying that very boldly as a woman who's not even so much as planned anything or even really thought about when our wedding's going to be. When it's happening, how it's happening, what we're doing. I just haven't mentally crossed that bridge yet. I feel like that's just a whole other topic. I have been here now for, I think I've been here for 10 days. Um, and I would say the first week was just obviously spending time with Kenny and just enjoying each other's company after three months of not seeing each other. I think we both coped really well with that three month kind of period of not seeing each other. But now that I'm back with him, it's really hard to imagine having to go home again in another 10 days. It's definitely already shown us how happy we make each other and how much happier we are when we're with each other, which you would hope considering we're getting married. But I think anyone that's in a long-term relationship, you can't really, you forget what it's like to ever not be with them. So it's easier to take things for granted. Everyone did say this to me. They said it kind of feels like you're dating a bit again. Um, and definitely that first week together, or well, and obviously still now, um, but it's just been so nice. If the first week of being here, we were just with each other, just doing the normal things, honestly, like cooking, watching TV together and all the little things that you just miss and take for granted when you're together all the time. And then we had a few days in Bangkok, which was really nice, but that was mostly separate because he was there with his football team to play a game. So he had to stay separately from me. So I checked into a gorgeous hotel. We stayed at the Mandarin, we, I stayed at the Mandarin Oriental. Um, and I basically just had a gorgeous mini holiday there, just like by the pool. But that basically brings us up to now. I got back from Bangkok yesterday, I think. And we are actually going away again tomorrow to Phuket, which I'm so excited for. But I just wanted to start the vlog tonight because we've got Kenny's football game. It's a home game today for his team. So I thought I'd take you along. I've never really shown you, I don't know if I've ever filmed at any of Kenny's football games in the past. I don't really ever talk about Kenny's job or, I mean, obviously I've talked about it a bit more recently because that's the whole reason that he's in Thailand and that I'm in Thailand right now and all of that. But otherwise I've not really talked about it or shared much about it on my YouTube channel. I think because I've always felt that's very much his thing and it's really important to me to, as much as I support him and love him and I'm so happy that he gets to do something that he loves so much, I very much want my own identity and life outside of that, as silly as that sounds, I think often and understandably it all just kind of blurs into one a little bit because the nature of dating someone who plays football or probably any sport and probably lots of different jobs actually it's probably not unique to being like an athlete but definitely the nature of football is you do have to um sacrifice a lot when it comes to choosing where to live and that sort of thing so i think yeah a lot of the time your life can just get wrapped up into theirs in a way but anyway the sun is setting thank goodness because when I went to his first game, when I got here, it was when the sun was still up and I cannot explain to you the temperature in that stadium. It was about a thousand degrees. So thankfully this game is later in the day. So the sun is actually setting. I might run upstairs in a second actually and show you the sunset from the balcony up there. But yeah, this is our home in Thailand. I am currently standing in like the living space. The kitchen is through this way. And then upstairs there are three bedrooms. There's about a hundred bathrooms. I think there's there's five bathrooms in this house, which I just feel is a lot of bathrooms. Like there's two here right next to each other. I don't know, a lot of bathrooms going on. Um, and then he's got like a whole garden and a driveway. And what I like is that he lives in a gated community with like a security guy on the gate. So when I'm here on my own, cause I'm here on my own sometimes because he has to stay at the football um, training camp uh, before a game. So I have had to sleep for a couple of nights on my own. So it's just really reassuring to have that security side of things. But other than that, it's obviously totally different to our home at home. It's just rented. I think the 
club, the football club, um, sorted it out for him. I'm not sure. They definitely gave him his car and all of that sort of stuff and helped him with a lot of stuff. He's got loads of space considering Kenny's here 90% of the time on his own. You'll obviously see a lot more of the house just as the week goes on because like I said, we're going to Phuket tomorrow but only for two nights and then we will be back here and I'm just going to show you like a regular week in our life. So I had better get myself properly ready. I'll go show you the sunset actually and the view from the balcony upstairs. So this is the view from the balcony at the back of Kenny's house. Like I said, he lives in a very rural part of Thailand. So it's basically just farmland and then his neighbors. But one of the things I knew was going to be hard for me when I came out here was the amount of street dogs that there are. Kenny had kind of pre-warned me that there were a lot of street dogs and that I would probably find it upsetting because you know what I'm like with dogs and all animals to be honest but I'm just so soft about this kind of thing and it's so different to at home like obviously at home if you saw a single dog out on the streets that didn't have a collar you would immediately do something about it but here there are hundreds just hundreds and hundreds of dogs it's very difficult to know what help to give and what is helpful and what's actually harmful and what dogs maybe do actually have owners because some of the dogs are owned but it's just not that clear like it would be at home because they're not always with their owners and the owners do just let them sort of roam um but this week because it has been 40 degrees i have just been extra worried about the dogs because they can't really go out in the day to hunt for food because it's so hot and just at the end of kenny street there is this gorgeous litter of really really young dogs so over the last few nights we've just been making sure that they do have access to clean water to drink and we've given them bits of food but like i said it's really hard balance because obviously we can't personally rehome I think there's six of them, six dogs. We also don't necessarily have the network that we would need to find the dogs' homes. So we never want these dogs to become dependent on us. So it's a really fine line. We are two people that love dogs and we are trying to do our very best for these very young dogs just to make sure that they can get by. Um, but I wanted to say that because I'm gonna quickly stop by on the way to the football game and again, just make sure they've got some water today. So let's go. Just need to make sure Kenny's gate is actually open on his drive because I've nearly reversed into his gate one too many times. Okay, let's go. Let's turn that aircon down a bit. I don't know how much you can see in the background. I also feel absolutely ridiculous wearing this polo shirts but we have to do what we have to do for the people that we love and i am in fact his number one fan so i will be wearing his shirts um but yeah i don't know how much you can see in the background but this is i'm just going through like the gates now oh they've opened it for me hello oh the men here are so nice um but yeah can you see that in the background i don't know if you can see the gate closing but it's like a huge gated community so um it feels really safe and the dogs are literally just around this corner. There are also a few dogs that live on the street that are slightly older dogs, um, which we do obviously give water to and offer water to, but I think they are looked after by the restaurants, whereas these dogs kind of live in the middle of nowhere a bit more. I'll show you if they're here. Yep, here's mum. I don't know whether you can see. Yeah, but in the middle of the road, that's mum. And then she's got all her babies she's probably coming to me she doesn't recognize the car i'm pretty sure she might i'm just gonna pull over get her some water yeah here's one of the babies in front of the car oh my gosh so sweet i don't have long so i'm just gonna quickly pop the water out now it's okay mama i'm just gonna leave this here today because it has been so hot so i'm just gonna pop it on the ground and leave it and i'll come back for it tomorrow hi These are the babies. Hi. Hello. Come on, you're all right. They're always a bit cautious. I'll give them some food. Honestly, they are the cutest little things. You guys want some food? I just kind of spread it for them. This gorgeous little one here, we really try and look after because I think he is like the runt of the litter um, because he always gets bullied. Don't you? By your brothers and your sisters, you get bullied. They all um, go for him when he tries to have the food. So when Kenny's here too, we'll distract the other ones and then just feed this little one. I think they're too hot today to care, to be honest. Okay, bye little one. See you tomorrow. Bye babies. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, we are here. It is noisy. I'm actually late as well. Has it kicked off yet? Oh yeah, kickoff was two minutes ago, so I'm a little bit late, so I'm just running through now. But it's hot, so hot, and so noisy. But this is the stadium. I go through down here somewhere. I go through just over there, that's where I sit. Um, but it's a pretty enormous stadium. I don't know whether you can get the scale of it. But I just thought I'd show you the front, but I need to run. Because like I said, I think I'm missing things. I can hear them screaming. I'll try and show you after the game. But this is where the team comes out after the game. And then these railings, um, people stand behind and just look at the team, I guess. But yeah, I've never actually waited here, so I'll probably wait and try and see Kenny and then I can show you. everyone we have just arrived at our hotel here in Phuket and it is so so nice our room is honestly ridiculous I know sometimes hotel room tours can be a little bit boring but I promise you this one won't be I'll show you around in a second to give some context I'm currently in our living room of our villa it's so gorgeous and it has a private walkway to the beach but anyway I'll show you it in a second so I'll stop talking about it but I am so so excited to be here we're going to go on a boat and see some of the sights that everyone has to see um, and I feel like this is where we are is kind of what everyone pictures Thailand to be if that makes sense whereas obviously where Kenny lives is a little bit more like rural whereas this is on the beach and it's beautiful and the ocean's like turquoise and it's just gorgeous so I'm so excited to be here so let me quickly show you around the room okay so this is the gate to our villa and then you come round this way i cannot honestly cannot get over this place it is so beyond gorgeous um and there's kenny just chilling with his rosie and then the first kind of space you come to is the little sort of living space um so it's just got this big sofa in here and then i think it's just got the mini bar and then the tea and coffee station over here as well and then that's the view from this side and then they've left us some little bits and pieces these fruits are the ones that kenny grows his mum grows them in his garden at home in australia and when we were there last year we just had one every single morning with breakfast it was so nice and then i think that's some prosecco to enjoy later kenny is maybe asleep because we were up at six this morning um, so I'm not sure but yeah so this is the first little space that gives you a bit of perspective on the villa that way and this is just kind of like an entryway are you awake no that's a no definitely having a little afternoon snooze just letting us in so this is the bedroom space we have another little sofa there's plenty of places to sit here and then out here is the view that goes onto the beach which is just 
I'll take you out there in a second, but I just, honestly, I can't get over it. I'm also wearing bikini bottoms, so I really hope I'm keeping this PG. But this is the bed. This is our bathroom. I just cannot. We have a his and hers situation. So this is kind of one of the dressing spaces, then one of the sink areas. That is the toilet, I think. And then we have this bath and then that's the shower. And then this would be my sink. And then again, like another little dressing space and just the safe and all of that sort of thing. We have been very fortunate to stay in some gorgeous hotels, but I think this bathroom definitely wins. Um, and then the view from this side is just of the desk area which again so nice so let's try not to disturb Kenny's nap but I want to show you outside because outside is so special so this is our own private pool area um but yeah Kenny's just trying to sleep and then over on that side I think that's like an outdoor shower that we have if I take you through this way through our little entrance this is the beach and I can't tell you how excited I am to wake up tomorrow morning and just walk straight out onto the beach. It's low tide at the moment, so there's no sea, but obviously um, at different points in the day, the sea would be here, but I'm sorry. I'm just so, so, so grateful. I think he's a bit tired. Kenny's going through an awkward hair stage at the moment because he's trying to grow his hair out into some kind of like K-pop situation. I'm not sure what's going on, but we're just going with it. Um, but we're in the awkward phase where he doesn't know what to do with his hair, so you don't really want to be on camera, but... Um, anyway, I never also, I never know where to hold the camera when you're here because we are such different heights. Anyway, we've just got ready for dinner. We basically spent the whole afternoon just like wandering around, exploring, enjoying the villa. I did have a nap. We have a friend. It's the family of one of Kenny's teammates does the scenting, scenting, would that be a word? Does the fragrance basically, thanks Kenny, <laughs> for, um, for loads of the hotels over here, but also all around the world. Can we stop? Okay, because I've inhaled half of that. Um, he's got a really, really cool company. They do all kind of like organic, um, made in Thailand with really natural ingredients, products and scents for hotels. It's called Lemongrass House. Anyway, he does the scents for this hotel. Um, we are going to head out and go for dinner. Can you stop trying to tickle me? Other people have missed me. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. well, I doubt it. Um, yeah, have you got any last words for us? I think you should try and come up with something. Me. What do you mean? I know. Well, I've had the same camera since I started YouTube, so... I need to take over the camera, because my arm is killing me. Look at what we have in the background. What an absolute shock that we have football. Right, we're going to run out the door for dinner, and I'll speak to you when we get there. We are just on our way down to breakfast. Kenny stayed here once before and he said the breakfast is really, really good. Um, Cause I stayed at the Mandarin Oriental last week and I thought that was the best breakfast ever, but Kenny thinks this is better. It's been a trip for you, huh? <laughs> what, this whole trip yeah. to Thailand? <laughs> yeah, no, it's been a very good trip. I'm very lucky.
morning everyone, or actually it's good afternoon. We are home now from, um, where were we? Phuket. We're home. We had the best time. I know I didn't film much, but we only had a really short amount of time there, so I just, there wasn't really much to film. Like, we just obviously chilled, went to the beach, we went and saw, what's the island called? Kenny's here. Say hello. What were the islands called that we took the boat to? PP Islands. PP Islands. We did that that day. We are home now and I thought today I would show you a bit more of like the reality of what it's like to actually live where Kenny lives and just what day-to-day -day life is like here. So we're out in the car. It was actually such a nice morning this morning because there was a huge storm last night which I think is rare. I don't think there's often storms um, but the thunder and lightning was like something I've never heard or seen before. The whole room was lit up but anyway because of that it was actually quite cool when we woke up this morning um, and normally by the time we get up at like 8 30 9 o'clock in the morning it is already 35 approaching 40 degrees it's so hot here but this morning you said it's never been that cold right it was nice because we could actually sit outside whereas normally it's just too hot um but we are currently we're going to go do a food shop and i thought i would show you what the food shops are like here we're going to go are we just going to tops today or are we going to any others just tops just tops so we're going to this one called tops which is like i think it's kind of it's got the most western products in out of all the supermarkets that they have here the other ones are a bit like Costco but the Thailand version of Costco they are these huge supermarkets so I'll show you this one and then we're actually going to try a new kind of street food place that neither of us have been to yet because it's vegan street food which is very hard to find here I will say um, a lot of the food here is very heavily meat based um, which has been a slight struggle when it comes to eating out but this place is completely vegan so we thought we'd go there but we've just got to the food shop so we'll take you inside okay we have arrived this one is in like a bit of a shopping complex so there's other things here as well there's restaurants there's restaurants everywhere here i feel like almost every shop or anything is a restaurant or has restaurants in um but this tops is where we're going they're all over thailand because they had them in phuket they have them in bangkok as well but i've just found for the food that i eat i feel like this is the best supermarket for me but I don't know, where do you normally go? Is this the one you go to the most or do you go to... I shop online normally. Anyway, this is Tops. I'll try not to film too many people because it's lunchtime so everyone's here eating. Um, but this is Tops and everything that we just walked past is like a food court. This area is all the fresh fruits um, and veggies and things like that. And every counter they have things that I really don't know what they are. Like for example, not sure what this is. One thing that's definitely better here is things like fruits and vegetables. They're so good and the mangoes will definitely get some mangoes. But what I will say is because Kenny's kitchen is genuinely 40 degrees, things like mangoes go off so fast. I was saying they'll ripen so fast in your kitchen anyway, won't they? Just one. The bread here is also very different. It comes packaged like this and all the bread that we can find anyway i'm sure that other places have bakeries and things like that but there's only this many slices in the bread but this is a good one one thing that's really random is that they sell things like ms products in here they also sell waitrose products these are all like the ms snacks and stuff which is obviously so different to home because at home only ms sells ms products and only waitrose sells waitrose products look waitrose products like this they do have this so i've been eating lots of this this um rice pasta black rice that might be quite nice so that's what i've been having for lunches and things like that but yeah so random waitress products they do have vegan pesto as well although this one i hadn't had for ages and um it's basically inedible i have to say really not good just tastes like vinegar um but yeah where's kenny here he is just been looking everywhere for you what's that olives what do we have? Oh, so you've sneaked in some cheese. What's this? Macadamia. Oh, nice. I've just seen the sign which explains why they have Waitress in here. Waitress is one of their wild partners. M&S is not on there, but I guess they must be one too. And then Carrefour, which is obviously French. That explains that, because I thought it was so weird when you... Well, I didn't fancy say the Spanish one. Sorry? Didn't fancy say the Spanish one. You say the Spanish one. Go on. Famous. Go on. I'll call it the English. <laughs> yeah, I didn't fancy saying that. No idea how I pronounce it. Oh yeah, we need coconut milk. This one? 
One thing I'm obsessed with is they have all these different flavoured lace. This is nori seaweed. Um, not exactly sure what this is. And then they have this chicken flavour and they have fried squid eggs and seafood sauce. Obviously I don't eat these ones but they're just interesting. Red hot lobster. What's this one? Scallops with white cream sauce. Hong Kong style dumpling. Have you seen all these flavours of crisps? Fried squid eggs with seafood sauce. Yeah, oh really? Have you ever tried any of them? Original. This sums up Kenny. Plain crisp, vanilla ice cream. Surely this is for you. Well, um, try it. No, I'm not saying you have to try it. I'm, I'm just... buying one. Oh, okay, okay and somehow you think that's a good suggestion. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Ooh, what? Chocolate covered potato chips. We're in the snack section and both of us are hungry, so this is potentially. Ooh, aren't they so pretty? Kenny is trying his pizza flavoured Pringles. What is the verdict? Well, they're nice, yeah, but the original's better. The original's better. <laughs> and uh, we were just having a debate. I said, does he think anything? Like, is there any food in the world where he thinks? not the original is better because like I've said before, I'm not joking when I say Kenny prefers vanilla ice cream. He is the definition, if you know when you call someone vanilla, that whole saying is made up about people like Kenny. He loves everything. Um, but like it is important to try other flavors. Things. Well, I'm glad you know at least To that know much. that the original is better. Okay. Can you give me anything where you don't prefer the original? There's gotta be something in life. What are my options? Even with chocolate, he's like a dairy milk, just dairy milk, that's your favourite, no? No, you've got something, yeah, you've got something new here. Not my favourite, but, you know, like nuts in it is nice. Oh, okay. Or hazelnuts. Okay, I didn't didn't see that for you. I thought you would just be purely plain. I can't think, you honestly do just order the original. And Kenny's exactly the kind of person where, you uh, know if you go to a restaurant, pizza. Ma margarita pizza, that sums you up. I can't think of anything else. But he's that person, he's that guy. When we go to a restaurant, obviously for me it's a bit different because I have things I like eat and don't eat and whatever. Um, but like Kenny has never altered a dish or added something to a dish in a restaurant in his life. Like that wouldn't even... Am I on your way? No. Well. It just wouldn't, I know, just know that that wouldn't come into your mind. There's nothing wrong with Can I just add? simple good ingredients. And there's also clearly nothing wrong with these Pringles that he apparently doesn't no, they like. they package it half empty. <laughs> yeah, okay, he tells up that. We're about to go for a huge lunch. I'm not sure whether we're going to eat in because it is now really hot and this is not the kind of place where there'd be aircon or anything. It's just literally a stand. I'll show you when we get there. But we're trying no, to decide. No, it's a restaurant. Oh, is it? The tables, yeah. Okay, well, Kenny calls it a restaurant and I understand that and I respect that, but there's no door on it. It's and a it restaurant is... if there's seats. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise it's a shop. Okay, well we're going to a restaurant, but there will be no air conditioning and it is, I would say, what is the temperature, does the car say? 31. 31 degrees. Feels more like mm, 38. So if it's not too hot, we'll eat when we get there. But if it is, then I am in favour of getting like loads of different things and bringing them all home and trying them. And then we can talk a bit more about like whether it's good and stuff. But this one is hungry, so I don't know whether I'll actually manage to get us home before he's eaten all of it. Hmm? What? Control the lights. Kenny wants me to show you the view, the traffic lights, because they count down. Do you know what? Does every single country in the world have the same numbers? No, these are English numbers, Thai, Thai numbers. Oh, do they? But they just put them in English. Yeah, it's good season. Yeah. So, this is kind of like the main road through where you live. Is that a fair thing to say? Yeah, through town, yeah. Through town. And what breaks my heart is that we see animals like crossing this and I just I have to close my eyes. I just cannot cope with that. But you never see roadkill. Yeah, you do never see any roadkill. You are right, of any kind. This is what it looks like. How far away is this place? 
I hope everyone's enjoying the um, soundtrack in the back of just you chewing crisps. Careful! Right one, okay. I tell you what is crazy here, the roads, the drivers. Like just then I said careful to Kenny because a moped just crosses in front of you, like straight out in front of you. It's pretty wild to be honest. And then there's just cows. Do you see those cows? Cows just everywhere. Like between buildings, just cows. Kenny thinks they keep the cows to mow the lawn, right? I made that up, but it's, it is plausible. Yeah, it's possible. I'll give you that. Okay, so we're here. This is it. I'm not sure what the vibe is of where exactly we order from or what we ask for. Okay, so in the end we went for two seats. These are actually slightly different just because the broth is slightly different. One's light and one's dark. Can you, what exactly is it, Kenny? Because I don't really know. Thank you. Um, it's just like noodle soup. If that's it, that's all we're getting from that's it. it is. Okay, and this is tofu. It's got Basically tofu. Every Asian country's got a different like version of noodle soup. This is just Thai's version. Thai's version, a Thai noodle soup. Kenny's putting chili. Uh, remember, like, we're sharing, no? Oh, yeah. And then what's in it is tofu. So we're going to try it. What's like in the tofu? Chili's fine as well. I'm a bit chilly. Thank you. We're in the process of making some dinner. What are we having tonight, Kenny? Some noodles. And then you're making a side salad as well to go with that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let me show you. Kenny's favourite needles are the ones that are even thicker than this, like the really thick needles. Like the ones we had at lunch, right? Yeah. I think I also definitely came as a shock was this curry paste. This green curry paste is so spicy here. Um, at home, obviously, it's got no spice in really at all. But here, even for Kenny, this is pretty spicy. dinner this evening we have got this big stir fry basically just using up all the veggies that we needed to use and then this is a chili and cucumber um, kind of like smashed salad sort of thing which is really good and then Kenny has just made this little side salad that has got lettuce olives tomatoes it is a new day we are back in the car it's actually been a couple of days and it is now the weekend of the Thai New Year, which is called Songkran. Songkran? Songkran. Um, so we just thought we'd head out this morning or this afternoon actually in the car and just see what's going on because they do all these big celebrations and they basically just have constant water fights. That's how they celebrate it seems. But we're also going to go and see if any of the markets are on because they have these huge street food markets and I have really been after a mango sticky rice for a few days so I'm going to see if they've got that and we're just going to basically see if we can get some lunch. Kenny is here, he's got his sunglasses on today. Did we get them together somewhere? I can't remember when you got them. Yeah we got them in Spain. In Spain? Yeah they see you, they look cool. So all of these cars full of people they basically just drive around and then anyone that's on a scooter or basically on the street they just soak with water. Obviously it's not rained here so the streets are this wet just from all these water fights. There's people in the back of trucks like that and then just everyone on the street basically and everyone's just throwing water everywhere and they're fully in the roads like not a care in the world here. Yeah.
Okay, we're making our mango sticky rice. Penny is just putting on, what did you say that was? These are like fried mung beans, I think. Oh, okay. On the top, and then we have this little bag. Everything in Thailand comes in a bag. It's kind of crazy. And then you mix it all together. Looks yummy. And how much was this in pounds? This was 60 baht. Okay, and what is that roughly? Yeah, like a pound 50, something like that. And this is the best mango you will ever eat. There's, I've never had mango as good as the mango in Thailand. Get a mango. And is this coconut milk on it? Coconut cream, I think. Mm. Open. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you have that. That mango's too Ready? big. I can't fit that. But you have that. It's too big. Open. That's me. <clears throat> the mango sticky rice is all gone. And we've just pulled up to, it's like a coffee shop, I think, that Kenny's been to before. You said it's really nice. It looks very, it's like very aesthetic. It's very pretty. So we're gonna go in. I don't know whether there'll be anything that I can eat here, but we're gonna go find out. Order some kind of sandwich from here, so we're gonna do a taste test. Okay. Looks good. Nice or no? It's actually quite good. Yeah. What's the main flavour? Like a cheese toasty vibe? Oh. Eggs. Eggs. <laughs> That's so cute. There's like a tiny baby in that bath as well, that water bath. And it, it, the baby's honestly about two, and he's just pouring water over his bum's or sister's head. Oh. Yeah, all the tiny kids are in the bath. Go on, there's a car. Please just excuse what I look like right now. I look crazy. And this is also, this lighting is doing my hairline no favours. Um, but I just thought I'd come and sit down and have a chat with you. I'm packing, which I can't quite believe. Like, I can't believe how quickly these last three weeks have gone by. They have just absolutely flown by. And tonight is my penultimate night with Kenny. We have our last evening together in Bangkok, which will be really nice because we'll get a nice hotel, we'll have a nice dinner and all of that sort of stuff and just really enjoy that last little tiny bit of time together. I don't even think about it too much because I will genuinely start crying. Here I go. Anyway, I don't want to leave the vlog just on like a really down note. I cannot take myself seriously in Kenny's t-shirt and this scrape back hair situation. The last few days I've had to really remind myself to just be present and enjoy the fact that I'm with Kenny now rather than getting sad and thinking that like I'm leaving soon and all of that. But what I actually came here to do is just sign off the vlog because this is going to go up tomorrow morning. But yeah, thank you so, so much for being here. I can't wait to catch up once we're back in the UK. Bye guys.